North Korea soldiers cross border, prompting warning shots. North Korean troops briefly crossed into South Korea Tuesday, according to the JCS. North Korean soldiers briefly crossed the demilitarized zone called the DMZ on Tuesday, South Korea has said ahead of the rare state visit to Pyongyang by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The soldiers retreated after the South Korean military fired the warning shot, but Seoul believes that their violation of the border was not intentional. South Korea said that it believed the soldiers accidentally crossed as they were fortifying the border, the second such incident in over a week. Uh, heavily fortified the strip of no man's land separating the north from the south. The DMZ border is not fenced and signposts are obscured by dense vegetation. About 20 to 30 soldiers entered the zone by about 20 meters, 65 feet to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, called the JCS, said in a statement. It's the second cross incident in two weeks, with Seoul saying North Korean troops crossed into the south on 9th June, with tolls including pickaxes. They retreated when South Korea used the warning shot and gave alert over a loudspeaker. The JCS noted that South Korea has been sending a large number of troops into the Z DMZ to clear vegetation and build fortifications since April. They, the troops has also suffered multiple casualties while working around the DMZ due to landmine explosions during the construction effort, military officials in Seoul noted. They added that the work by North Korea to restore all the guard posts in the area was to completed in January, and the new new landmines were then planted on roads between the two countries. This work appears to be aimed at the strengthening control over North Korean troops and the residents, which includes the prevention of a defection, the JCS said. From Gyeonggi-do in the west to Gangwon-do in the east, thus 160 mile, 258 kilometer long DMZ divides the Korean Peninsula in two. While 196 people fleed North Korea to the south in 2023, almost none cross the fortified border. Most instead cross into China and then to South Korea. The latest crossing comes as North Korea prepared to receive Russian President Vladimir Putin for his first visit to the country in more than 20 years after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un traveled to Russia last year. The U.S. has expressed concern about the defending relationship between the two countries, saying it was troubled by the supply of of North Korean missiles for the war in Ukraine. Alongside the U.S., South Korea has also accused North of supplying Russia with artillery and other equipment, likely in exchange for food and military aid. There has been heightened tension between Seoul and Pyongyang in the last few weeks as South Korea resumed propaganda broadcast towards the North in response to Mr. Kim's regime, sending hundreds of balloons carrying rubbish across the border.